this is Chetan from Cambridge. Uh, so in this uh, particular assignment or an exercise, we are going to uh, see CloudWatch logs. What we want to do is um, we want to use CloudWatch for collecting logs from EC2 instance. Uh, so we will create some dummy logs on EC2 instance uh, as an application logs. And then we will see how to stream those logs from EC2 machine to CloudWatch dashboard. Uh, and after we get those logs, we can even create log filters and define the alarms based on say certain text in the log messages. For example, many times in your application, you'll find there is an um, fatal error or there is a critical error message or error number. So you can have filters for those kind of strings and you can generate alarms so that whenever there is an any error in your log message, you are notified say over email immediately. Okay, so for doing this exercise, uh, what we need to do is we need to have one EC2 machine and on that machine, we need a CloudWatch agent. So AWS provides uh, agent um, package, which you can install depending on your OS version. I'm going to use Amazon Linux and uh, then you need to configure the agent configuration files and define which log files from this EC2 should be streamed to the CloudWatch. Uh, so we will see how to do those configurations. Uh, one more thing is like uh, if you see here again uh, logs are bit getting streamed from EC2 to CloudWatch. Now these are two different AWS services again and uh, IAM role comes into the picture where CloudWatch agent should have permission uh, to send these logs to the CloudWatch service. So for that we would require a CloudWatch uh, uh, IAM role which will assign to EC2 instance. Okay, so at high level, these are the steps which I have listed here. First thing we need to create IAM role and then we launch EC2 instance attach to that um, attach IAM role to that instance. Then we log into our EC2 instance and install AWS logs agent. And then we will configure these two files AWS CLI.conf and AWS logs.conf and uh, configure which uh, application logs we want to stream to the CloudWatch uh, dashboard. And at the end, we'll start AWS logs service. Uh, after we see our logs in the CloudWatch, we will create CloudWatch uh, uh, logs metrics uh, based on certain strings, for example, an error, and we'll see how to create an alarm based on that string. Okay, so let's do our exercise. So I am into my uh, AWS console and the first thing I need to go to I am dashboard and create one I am role. So let's do that. So I am policy I have already created here in this presentation. So I'll just copy it as it is. And I will go to my I am dashboard. I will create a policy. I'm directly putting JSON as a text. Okay, review policy. I will give name CloudWatch <coughs> logs. Okay, our policy has been created. The next thing we should create I am role for our EC2 instance. So we'll create a new role this time for EC2 instance. I select that. And in permission, I will select the CloudWatch policy that we had just created. And that role I can give CloudWatch logs role. And I created the role. Okay, so we are done with the IAM settings. Let's go to our EC2 instance and launch one EC2 instance. So I am selecting the regular Amazon Linux. All the configurations are default. I'm launching it in default VPC. I want to connect to this instance over SSH. And I will just open SSH port for myself. Review and launch and I'm launching this instance. Okay, so my instance has been launched. 
if you see there so the next step is um, I need to attach this instance and I am role so I'll go here instance settings and attach or replace role if you remember our role name was cloudwatch logs role okay so next uh, let's log into this EC2 instance over SSH and uh, then just configure the AWS logs agent okay so I am inside this instance the next step is to install the CloudWatch agent and for that you can just run this command <clears throat> yum install AWS logs okay so AWS logs agent has been installed and as stated earlier we need to configure some files here so that AWS uh, logs agent can stream those logs so there are two files essentially one is etc aws log aws cli.com so i'm just editing this file with sudo permission and we just need to have a right region where all these logs are going to be streamed so ap south one that is my mumbai region and important file is this etc aws log aws logs.conf which contains the configurations which we need to set so you can just go and delete all the content from this log file and uh, i have already given the sample content for this log file and let's go over through it now if you see this file uh, important section is this this is a section which can be any name uh, in which region we are operating and which file it has to monitor so right now i just gave this dummy file slash var log application dot log uh, right now on this system i don't have this log file but uh, for this demo purpose we need to create this log file then only we can see those logs there and then in, uh, there is a log group under which all the logs will be streamed and as you know in cloudwatch logs there are log streams so in one log group there could be multiple log streams so by default the log stream name would be same as this particular ec2 instance id so that if we are gathering logs from multiple ec2 instances we can identify or differentiate between uh, logs from different ec2 instances okay so that's what uh, we wanted to do as in settings save this file and as a last step just start uh, AWS logs service okay on this system AWS logs is not the name of the service it's AWS logs D so I just started it okay uh, everything is done so ideally we should see log files on the CloudWatch logs dashboard but if you go to the CloudWatch and go to the logs you will see there is no logs as of now that's because we don't really have the log file actually being created there so let, let's just go to where log let me change myself to sudo and if you see there is no application dot log so let's just create one file i'm just saying echo hi this is dummy log data and i can just redirect it to application dot log okay now if you see i might have one file here and if you just do cat i have the content in this file so if everything is working if our cloudwatch logs agent is working we should refresh this page and we should see a log group with application logs and there should be one log stream with instance id and it should populate the data that we had just uh, appended to our log file okay that's great let's just verify if it really streams almost real time let's just try to append more data to this log file save message to redirect to application dot log similarly let's put more data log message three redirect to application.log and now if you just see this application log it has three messages 
let's go back to cloud watch dashboard and refresh this it got three messages that means whatever we are writing to the file is getting updated here in the dashboard so that's what we wanted to do now the next part is to create a cloud watch uh, logs filter so let's go to the cloud watch log select this log group and create a filter now you can give any pattern but typically you'll see in real world there would be like if there is an error message then we should uh, have an alarm and then send a notification so i'm just putting the pattern as error test the pattern it won't find any entry as of now because there is no error and then we assign it a metric and we can say name of the metric itself is a app error something and we are creating the filter now we have this filter we can just go ahead and create an alarm based on that and we say if app error is a name of the alarm and if whenever number of count is greater than say zero then you should send an alarm okay and then create an alarm okay so we have created an alarm for the metric filter but as you see right now we don't have any error messages and that's where the there is no data to create an alarm so let's just simulate this problem so let's say echo error there is some problem with the application and just keep redirecting it to the same file and then maybe there are some more errors later on new error okay so if uh, you see this file it has now additional error messages let me just restart this and if we just do cat application.log it has this error messages so cloudwatch first let's see if cloudwatch logs captured that okay so it got this and if everything works we should also get an email okay just let's wait for some time till we get some email okay so let's go here and check okay i am in my email and if you read this it says uh, there is one data point crossed that means it got an error so that's what we wanted to do uh, when there is certain messages any kind of string pattern we found in the log files we should have been notified via the sns notification and that's what we have received so if you could do up to this point it's good this is what we wanted to do thanks for watching if you like this video just like and share thank you